Uh, this poem is called Capital T, and you can decide where those capital T's are. Have you ever been blindsided by someone? Completely out of nowhere, bowled over, unexpected, enraptured by them? And it happens like it's the simplest thing in the world, like nothing else made sense? I have. Recently, even. And I could use words like destined or meant to be, but I won't. Because I don't believe in destiny. But I can see why some people might. When you bask in a glow so warm and wonder how a light so bright could burn so long. It almost makes me glad this one has a finite wick. Almost. Perhaps finite's the wrong word. It's more an indefinite pause or a change in direction at a fixed point in time. Still, I'm not looking forward to it. But I'm not fighting it either. We're just two complementary waves moving at different speeds in a similar enough direction. I'd like to see how high we could get this peak before it's frozen in time or swallowed by the tide. Did you know someone could mean so much so fast? Then in a blink of an eye, you'd put their sh your shoulder against theirs, no matter the odds. That you'd fight for their truest self, even when they tried to convince you otherwise. Hell, especially then. I didn't. I do now. What about the fact that just by looking at you, they can bring forth a greater version of yourself, remind you where you're going and what direction you're moving in? I mean, I'm pretty tall, but I stand taller when I'm with them. And it's strange the way our perspectives change when simply waking up next to them brightens your day. Like, it's not that early, or cycling in the rain isn't so bad, or I mean, I could snooze for another 10, but instead I'll make coffee while they shower. And it's not all amorous gazes and kisses that make the world sing, as nice as those things are. It's also talking when things get intense or scary and remembering to pick up the kale on the way home. <laughs> or being held when it's the only thing that might take the edge off. This forest of feelings isn't particularly new to me. I've met these trees before, but they've never been quite this strong or well-rooted. If those others were saplings and bamboo, then this is the oak on the hill that's been there for as long as anyone can remember. You know, I was always so certain I'd never been in love, but now I'm not so sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Seth Lumber!